R2D Today introduces Team PID for Life, cast members Volker and Jack. Our team set out to create a tool which engineers can experience the real world experiences of PID control. Everyone uses control loops. Anytime you adjust how you do something based on previous results, you are forming your own control loop. For example, when you want to drive your car at 65 miles per hour, you depress the accelerator until the speedometer reports the target speed. Simple. But what happens when you start driving up a hill? The car slows because the torque to move the car at 65 miles per hour on a flat road is no longer enough. So you respond by pressing the accelerator further down. Your foot, the speedometer, and your brain have formed a control loop. Control loops are also found in the industrial processes and on the plant floor. Common examples are flow control, level control applications, temperature control, and pressure control. What is PID? A PID controller is a control loop feedback mechanism widely used in industrial control systems. A PID controller calculates an error value as a difference between a measured process variable and a desired set point. The controller attempts to minimize the error by adjusting the process through use of a manipulative variable. A PID controller consists of three parts. Proportional term is the amount added to the output based on the current error. The proportional gain is a multiplier. Second, integral term is the amount added to the output based on the sum of the previous errors. And third, derivative term is the amount subtracted from the output based on the rate of change of the current error. Hello, I would like to give you a quick overview over our application that we produced. We did a regular tank level control, a loop compare, and a tank control. The tank level compar control comparison screen shows two PID loops that control the identical process. The changing individual parameters can be observed how the different PID loops control the process. The tank level control screen compares two loops. One is a slow acting loop, one is a fast acting loop. The tank control screen shows two PID loops. The level and flow can be adjusted and controlled individually. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video brought to you by Concept Systems.